Hello, Internet, and welcome to the Glitchy Gamer Podcast, the podcast that glitches onto the channel every now and then. We are here. We are going to be talking about a few topics that are somewhat heated or not. That's the debate. So with me is Big Evil Gaming. What's going on, guys? Big Evil Gaming here, locked and loaded with a podcast. How's- and then we have Spirit Wolf Gaming. Hello! What's up, y'all? I apologize to all the headphone users. My bad. <laughs> Your discretion is advised. <laughs> So, we are going to have the podcast start off with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 getting in a remake. We all all stoked about that because we didn't like how it ended with, you know, 5 was just a debacle in itself. So, Logan, what are you feeling about that? Do you like the cast? Do you like how they're going with everything so far? For me, when I heard that Tony Hawk Pro Skater uh, 1 and 2 were getting remastered, I was stoked because I'm a huge skateboarding game fan. Like, anybody that knows me knows I'm a huge fan of the skate series that EA has done. And they have it announced skate. So, Tony Hawk Pro Skater uh, 1 and 2, when they announced the remake, I was stoked because I, I used to love those games back in the day. Me and my friends, we used to play. And, uh, again, viewer discretion is advised, but... The way I see it, if you got Big Evil here, you're you're you know, allowed one one asshole. But we used to play a game uh, on there. We would play horse, but instead we would play asshole. So whenever you lost, <laughs> it'd say uh, you are an asshole. So and I actually have a picture on my on my uh, Facebook that has that picture of me just smiling with my thumbs up, saying I I'm an asshole. But, uh, <laughs> I love it. I thought that it was I thought it was a great game. I'm stoked for it. Um, I will say though that the roster is a little lacking. Um, I mean, you got eight people, Chad Muska, huge fan of Chad Muska, uh, Mike, Mike Volley. I thought they should have got in there. Mikey V, um, definitely should bring him in. Another person that I was really surprised that they didn't was Bam Margera because he, he, him and Tony Hawk, if anybody remembers the, uh, the underground game. He yeah. was in there, you know, and everybody else. And it really kind of bummed me that they didn't include him in there. Um, they probably have their reasons, but um, I'm stoked for it. Um, definitely hope that it'll be a little bit of both, a uh, little bit of both, you know, with, with some, of the, uh, some of the retro stuff back in the day. But I hope that they'll, you know, get some new stuff as well and maybe include levels to where, you know, that we've never seen before, be able to you know, completely create whatever, you know, we want. And I know five was a debacle. It was really bad, but hopefully they can take the time, show these games some love and we can get something awesome out of it. But I will say one thing, EA, please make skate Four. we beg you. <laughs> well, I, I will say do, there is an interview with, um, I forgot his name, but, uh, he was on a podcast called the nine, I believe it is. Mm-hmm. And you you know the the all a bunch of great skaters on that podcast. It was I think it was Jason Dill maybe it was. And uh, he mm. he was on there and he said that he was messaged by EA. Yeah, it was Jason Dill, the Nine Club, and um, Jason Dill told them to basically screw it. I'm not going to be on the mobile game, and you know give me skate four and then i'll say yes to being on the uh, any yeah. game but i'm grateful for jason dill telling them screw off i don't want to be having a mobile game you know because they're all about skate three because of the hype it's like exactly give me skate four give me a new game give me more skaters just like you know tony hawk is like reinventing himself again because he realized he didn't want to end on five and yeah I, I get where you're coming from because I know Spirit's the same way probably. He's like, he wants Bam Margera because of Underground. But they're going from the original cast because that was the first game. That was the second game. Exactly. And so yeah. they're probably seeing how well it does. If it sells a lot of copies again, they might bring three and four. They might bring, you know, some more Underground. Hopefully not Shred or Ride ever again. That was a waste of my time. Oh, Shred was horrible. But if, <laughs> if they remastered Tony Hawk Underground 1 and 2, it 
it, it's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. Well, when it comes, I never got a chance to play Tony, Tony Hawk 1 and 2. I started with the Underground series itself, and that's what wowed me about Skip itself. With all the characters, you know, I, like you said, uh, Bam, Tony, uh, and all them. And late, uh, Dave Mara was in that also, you know. Yeah. But for me, if they, since they're going to already remaster one and two, I, I agree totally to also remaster the Underground one and two. And here's something I was about while well, listening to you guys wouldn't it be awesome your own skate park with this remaster of whatever you want it to look like a fantasy sense oh yeah like skate 3 how you can make your own like all they give you like the little yeah. platform and you can do whatever you want with it that would be dope yeah. if I yeah. go online with that would that. be awesome I'm saying with this remaster why don't they give us that option to create our own skate park whatever we want and maybe an easter egg of like a bmx bike of a skateboard that would be kind of cool with uh, with the travesty that happened you know with dave mira and i know it's been a long time ago and i'm probably you know hashing on old news but i think it would be a good tribute being that you know tony and dave were really good friends i yeah. think it would be a good tribute for them to add that in there definitely i agree like it, it, it would be cool to see because they had like a bunch of stuff for Dave Mara. And if they did include something, the one thing that kind of concerns me is some information just came out though, that it's not going to be like the old mechanics from the old game. It might be the mechanics from the HD mobile game. That's a little concerning that, that I just heard about like, mm, I don't know. (laughs) Oh God. I hope not. I hope not. With with those mechanics, aren't those too choppy? Yeah, because it's for a mobile game, it. so you're using your your hand instead of buttons, so it's not as fluid. Like you know how like you could button mash and like it would like do like a million. Like, are we gonna be able to do combos? That's my one concern because that's what kept the game going was you can do a million you know point combo and get yourself like the high score. Like, am I gonna be able to get sick on this game? I don't know. <laughs> that's HD. <laughs> See, if they, if they want to do it that way, they should take a page out of, and again, I have to go back to Skate 3, if they want to go that route with being able to, you know, use fluid motion, use the thumbsticks to you, to do your moves. That would be the, the best situation if they do want to go that route. Yeah. But another thing that was weird to me was is they decided to make everybody old in the game. Like, I was surprised at that. You know, that was like a, a twist to it, like... Yeah, let's just show everybody how they look now in this day and age instead of how they looked back in the day. Yeah. I think they should have did like, or, or are they going to add a DLC where you can have the skaters as a younger version of themselves? Is that going to be like an added bonus, do you think? I It could possibly be. Pretty cool. Yeah, I think it would be pretty, pretty, uh, be pretty cool, but I personally think that they may do updates and they may do DLC to add in other skaters as well, not just, you know... The roster that we have here but include other other people as well that's what i think they could possibly do but then again it, it we're still just learning information so we really have no idea it's basically just what we think it's going to be anyway but i believe i believe that they're going to do a dlc to add in more skaters yeah well, it was, it was like funny it. it was funny to see jack black just chilling in the background with all the skaters well, <laughs> it's like it, it's like you said biggie with them kind of just releasing out bits and bits of all we can base it off of right now is rumors, speculations, what they're giving to us. Yeah. Hoping and praying what we want incorporated remastered. Yeah. One thing though, do you think Jack Black is in the game because we saw him take a photo with everybody? Do you think he's like a surprise add on? Like, you know how like they had Spider Man and a couple other like hidden people you think he would be part of the game you mind if i take go I think, ahead go, go ahead, ahead go i ahead. think he is and i think he will be one of them like you said like spider-man or a hidden uh, character dead, yeah a hidden character heck 
who knows? Maybe they might even contact Ryan Reynolds to do Deadpool as a skater. Oh, I want Deadpool. Give that would be, wouldn't, that be, Deadpool. wouldn't that be awesome? I but, want but you got to think with the... I do too. I, I love Deadpool. Like that's, He's one of my favorite. He's one of my favorite. But um, what I think... And I, and I hope they do it. And if and if they do, um, if they are watching it, please, please add in more Easter eggs. Yeah. Because in the original, there was a there was a lot of Easter eggs, but there wasn't enough to really satisfy that that thirst for for Easter. Yeah. And as the, as the games progressed, there was more and more Easter eggs. Like there was uh, what was, what game was it? I want to say it was either Underground 1 or 2, or maybe it was even Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3, that you uh, actually got to skate in this hospital. And if you think, yeah, hit one. a certain... Yeah, yeah if was, you hit a certain one. section, you could actually go up to the second floor and you could see gurneys with like a with like a person like looking at it with his, with his, <laughs> with his hand on his uh, hand over his mouth going... Ah. <laughs> uh, with... With Underground 2, if you think about it, Logan, uh, there was an Easter egg in that one where you could actually skate in a bunny suit. Yeah. <laughs> and 2, like I said, I started with Underground 2 when I started playing these skate and everything else. I was amazed at the detail that they put into them, Easter eggs and everything, but I always felt like, what's lacking? And yeah. in a way, what lacked my opinion of this game, the soundtracks were dope, yeah. hands down. But they didn't give us much of an option in the soundtrack. In a way, like, with most skaters, you figure it's punk rock or hard rock, right? That they listen. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking... Why not add the rap element? Yeah. Well, I wonder if it's because of the fact that it's hard to get the licensing for certain songs, maybe. Yeah. I was, possible, I was about possible. To say. Yeah. They, that probably was what is easiest to get for the licensing was whatever was hype. And also, like, whatever... Because I know it's it's um, the company that made Crash Bandicoot and Spyro remakes, you know, the, the Crash Team Racing yeah, remakes. That, so yeah. I got a little high hopes for that, that they try to keep it as close to the game, but I know they're going to change it up just a little bit. Because with Crash, it was not the jumping mechanic from the first game. It was the jumping mechanic from the third game. So that was my little yeah. pet peeve, is I hope that they didn't change it like that, where... The skating mechanic is so different from the original where I'm used to playing that I'm going to be like, oh my gosh, this is going to be bad. Is it going to be like Project 8 where it's going to be the flicking mechanic? That would be weird like to see the flicking mechanic. That would be oh, that would be so, so different. Because yeah. you'd expect it to be the same as the, the old school game and yeah. just use the same mechanic, but you know, update it and all that. And it's completely different. And you're, yeah, that, that's you're what I'm, I'm hoping it's not it's because... Awesome. They didn't introduce the flicking mechanic until Project 8 around that era, and it would completely change the game on how you get your points, how you get your combos, and stuff like that. And I don't think it's right for those three, four first games. Like, you don't need to add those at all. Yeah. Well, me and the point system, the underground, on the old Game Boy Advance, you know, you had your A, B, and your uh, control pad. Your left and right up top. The hardest part about trying to get like big time scores on that was trying to hit all them buttons at the same time to make yeah. you get the high score. Yeah, you remember know? remember Tony Hawk Motion where you had the motion thing and all that was a oh, weird too. God. I remember that. That was yes. so annoying. Yes, yes. You couldn't you can because you had to have the rumble pack in order to play it. So if you lost the rumble pack, you were screwed. And then yep. when you got the rumble pack to work. It was so weird because it was like it had to be There's moved. Still... You had to move the, you had to move it a certain way, and it was like I don't get this. I can't get it to work. Yeah, like I said, that... you're still screwed. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah it was, it was I don't know what screwed. they were thinking during that. I have no idea what they were thinking. I think Tony is just saying yes to everybody. <laughs> Maybe that's the issue. Yes, like, yes, let's yes. Try yes that. I'm gonna be the agree, first agree. one to try it. Let's see if it works. If it doesn't work, oh well. It's like. Tony, the the one hi. thing that I hope they do with this uh, 
uh, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remastered. I hope they take a little bit from every game that has came out and kind of add it in into this like hodgepodge of being able what to do. And one thing I will say above all that I hope they bring into it is like a career mode to make your own skater and kind of add in that stuff to where, hey, you got to do these quests. You got to, you know, get the most, uh, get the highest score, get the secret tape, you know, and all this other stuff. But Are do it talking? to where it can benefit us and we can unlock stuff, you know, instead of like oh, the loot so crates. Like, kind of like the later like games this. where they were doing right. like, um, like, yeah. Eight and like American Wasteland where you had to like get this sick video going in order to get to the next part of the world. Yeah. Or kind of like what they did in Underground, like where you had to collect the word skate or the missing tape, like you're saying, missions like that too. Yeah, cause that that was that wasn't the first game. Like the original game was just literally just basic, where it was like you were there, you got to you had to get a a six score, plus you had to get like like the break all the barrels and then get the wing symbol, and then you know there was a hidden area in every single world, and you had to find that by either grinding on the rail or figuring out where it was and bash into it. So I and. Yeah, just to add on to that, if if I may. Yeah. Because uh, I know Tony Hawk Pro Skater, the original, you had to actually... It was the weirdest thing because in order to find the, the first secret tape or uh, the secret or whatever it was, you actually had to go down the, the first main ramp, you had to hit the half pipe, and then you had to do a spine transfer, but you had to smash through the glass on the top of this little like skybox, get it and then drop back down without falling. Yeah. Otherwise, because if you, if you bailed or if you fall or if you, you know, did something like that and you messed up a trick, it's done. Like it's gone. You got to do it all over again. Yeah. No, it was it was it was annoying on certain points where, if you if you were to like bomb something and try to get it and go fast and then you bailed. It would just like respawn back where it was, and you had to like yep. go back all to the beginning. Yeah, do it again. And and yeah, right. I don't know. Like they might not do that because you know the gaming day and age, they don't like to do that over and over and over again. Like how we used to back in the day, because we were just glutton for punishment. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens on that one because it was weird to like have to land everything, which I understand where he's coming from because. In order for any trick to count, you can't have any foot touch or touch with your hands or anything like that. So, you know, that's skater mentality. It's only counting exactly. if you land it. So yep. I, exactly. I, I mean, you, you, you can't call it a trick and you can't send in footage of you messing up a trick. You know, it's kind of like, uh, I'm going to take a weird analogy. It's kind of like the Jurassic Park NES game. Like, you can't say that you're going to beat it and then save it because there's no save point for it. So you just yeah. got to do it all once, you know? Yeah, it was... It was basically like how old school games were yeah exactly yeah so we'll see what happens with that game crossing my fingers everything goes smoothly and is I... there a release date for this game yeah or September. They... uh tony hawk's birthday he he announced it on his instagram drop him for september man get ready yep. pre-order that mark so. it on the calendar oh yeah Let's move on to the next topic. We just got word that they are probably going to remake, remaster RE4. One of the best RE games ever made. Which, I don't know why, but what are your thoughts on it, guys? Would you want it to be remade, remaster, and why or why not? We'll start with Spirit this time. Oh! Uh, Resident Evil 4, if they're going to remaster it, mind-blowing. We already have Resident Evil 3 remastered, and uh, Big Evil will agree with me on this. Resident Evil 3, (laughs) mind-blowing. 3 was good. Mind-blowing. Personally, I want to see them try to remaster Resident Evil 6. Well, six is too far into the the genre. I doubt they're gonna go that far just yet. Uh, well, you never know. Like I said, 
I had a chance back on the old PS2 days to play Resident Evil Never Install. So I never got the chance to play a Resident period. Yeah. But if if they do remaster three, I think it'd be a more. <laughs> How about this? Just remaster the whole Resident Evil series. They even Survivor and oh man, no, no, all no, those not other Survivor. Side ones? No, you want no. all those, Charles? You want no. All those? no, no, no. I'm saying all the good ones, like <laughs> well, three, you might be four, specific, bro. You can't seven. say all of them and then expect us to not be like, wait, Survivor, and then there's. <laughs> Well, I'm just talking of the basic Operation series one through ten. And all those beautiful ones that came out. Oh, well, like no. I said, I I never got the chance to play a res. Oh man, well, Logan, what do you? I think know, that? boo me, boo, boo me. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you think, Logan? Go what ahead. Did you want oh it? boy, where do I begin with this? So, ladies oh, and gentlemen, sit, relax. Grab some popcorn right, because on. me and Linda, we, we talked about this. How many times have we spoke about this, Linda? Uh, about remastering the Resident Evil, the Resident Evil series? Oof, a while. Like, we've been talking for a while. <laughs> Crazy. So, Resident Evil 2, I uh, the, the remake, I, I bought. I haven't beat it. I played through about maybe the first 20 minutes of it. I absolutely love it. I thought it was a great you know, remake, it's awesome. Three, I've I've seen gameplay of it. I personally don't own it. But uh, I love Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 4, probably, in my opinion, one of the funnest Resident Evil games there are. Yeah. Um, I think if they, if they do remaster it, it would be awesome. And a lot of people that didn't have that opportunity to play it back in the day will be able to go. Like with Resident Evil 3, I would definitely go ahead and grab it. Um, just because... I had a buddy of mine that had it, but I never played it. Um, and yeah. just you know, going back in the day and being able to do it, I think would be cool. So with that, um, Resident Evil 4, um, you know, I think remastering it, remaking it, whatever would be cool. But in the same sense, I'm on the fence about this because I'm like, why would you want to touch what is already considered a masterpiece? Yeah, and we did a lot see of we did see the like the first version of it if you remember the demo, which was it was going to be a haunted house, right? Yeah, that was vastly different. So I agree, man. Like, why why destroy another one? Exactly, and I mean, I I understand. You know, they want to they want to get you know the newer generation into the old school Resident Evil, which I think is absolutely fine. It's great, but. Resident Evil 4 is regarded by a lot of people as one of as one of the greats. Why why do you want to do that? And you know, I, I understand, you know, they don't want to have kids go out and buy the old school consoles, you know, like like we have here, you know, Linda. Is that they don't want kids to have to go out and buy the old school consoles and have to buy the other games. They want to just remake it, ship it out on digital so that way everybody can have it. But if they're going to start doing these, they need to pertain to games that maybe didn't get as big as a following as some of these other ones did. Now, I'm not saying Survivor, because Survivor was a tragedy in itself. It yeah. was a absolute effing disaster. Yeah, but like Code Veronica was a good one, and they didn't, Code Veronica, they didn't even put exactly. that at all to anything. I would have exactly. loved to Code see Exactly. Code Veronica that. was an excellent one. I'm a huge fan of the Outbreak series. Yeah. Biohazard, you know, Resident Evil Outbreak File 1 and 2. I love them. I, I actually have, to this day, I have Resident Evil Outbreak, the, yeah. the first one, looking to get the second one. I would love to see that remastered. And instead of, and you know, with that, and nowadays, in this day and age, back in the day, you could actually have up to four players connected through internet to play Resident Evil Outbreak. Nowadays, yeah. if you were to do that, if you were to remaster it, you could have four people online and just go around and play it. It would be it would be a great idea to remaster those. Yeah, but you, if, they they got success with you. You saw in RE three they had that extension with the multiplayer game. 
why exactly. can't you do that exactly with Outbreak and, and, exactly. and get that going? Because you saw the popularity. You saw people wanted it day one, and they're playing it, and they're still playing it. Like Exactly, on. and I, I don't understand. And it would be the perfect fit for it because if – and, Linda, I, I don't know if you've played Resident Evil Outbreak yeah, 1 I or 2. Yeah, those are like amazing games. With the, yeah, they are amazing games. And you can you know, play with your teammates. If they were to remake that, it would make perfect sense, especially with the success of Resistance for Resident Evil 3 and Resident Evil 3 coming out. It would make perfect sense to go about doing that. But I think because it was just such an obscure game and it really didn't follow a timeline per sense to the main Resident Evil story, they're not going to do it. And I'm just torn apart about it. And after this podcast... I'm going to send a tweet to, <laughs> to Capcom. Cap- to Capcom is going to get some tweets. And I'll be like, I'm going to be like, I want Resident Evil Outbreak file one and two remastered. And I want to see retweets, folks. I want to see that blowing up Twitter, man. Because oh, yeah. I want that game. <laughs> uh, Biggie, you know how they, they say that Resident Evil 6 overseas was actually Resident Evil 2. How so? Well, it, 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 it's so weird because the timeline of Resident Evil is so obscure and so flawed. Yeah. That it, it, yeah, it's like really cattywonky. And that's actually a better, a better way to put it. Yeah. Is that it's so messed up. It, it's like the Legend of Zelda timeline. Try putting Whoa. that damn thing together. It's no, not no, even not Nintendo nuts. can do that. <laughs> yeah, it's nuts. You know, and but it's that, the same thing with the Resident Evil, Resident Evil game. Well, the reason why I bring up six. Don't you think if they did remake six, they could actually make it more like two over there, but still incorporate what they did three, four, and all that already? Oh, I see. So and you I want think it all on the multiplier same engine. Yeah, and all that. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. Everybody's on the same and, and, engine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and that's what I think they're gonna actually do. Is if if I know Capcom. They, you know, with the success of Mega Man 11 and the remake of, you know, Resident Evil 2, I think they're going to keep that train going, especially during, you know, for the new generation. Yeah. They want people to, you know, get along. They want people to know the Resident Evil series and what's going on. So I think that in due time, they are going to be remaking, you know, all of the Resident Evils. I personally think it. Because oh, they're, they're if they're going, all- yeah, man, they're gonna, they're gonna try to fix five and make it more horror. They're gonna try to fix. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm well, predicting it's gonna be a lot more in this series, but it just I don't think they should do four before they do the others because they were exactly. first. They were first in the timeline. Because if you do exactly. four, you're gonna have to figure out like our well, they could mash everything together, which would be weird to see. But if they did do that, they like Code Veronica mashed with four like that would be two separate games put together kind of like how they did which wouldn't work but it might work you never know because well, exactly and and sorry to cut you off charles but i i just need to get this off my chest right now go ahead. Go ahead. so a way that they can get around that which would be a perfect idea is to have like a disc or digital like dlc for like thirty dollars, or you know, however much they want to charge, Tales of Evil, or or even just like Tales of Raccoon City, where they could have, you know, uh, Resident Evil Outbreak one and two on that on that, and just have it as like a side addition to Resident Evil four, or even you know, along the lines, just do that, and have it as like maybe a DLC or as its own separate entity. Yeah, or it could be like extended. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. Logan, you were talking about uh, Capcom wanting to remaster stuff. Do you think down the line that they could possibly remaster, like, uh, what was it? Not sure, but the other one with Ken, Raul, and all that. that was- oh, Street Fighter. Street Fighter? Yeah. Do you, do you think they could master that, but instead of just the basic core of fighters and just include the whole roster and bigger, more up. 
generation. See, the problem with that, though, is like we are debating about RE4. It's such a classic. If you were to touch that, you probably would have a bunch of the hardcore fans angry. Yeah, it would be a riot. It would riot. be an uproar. Yeah, like it would not be that good. That would because be a riot. Plenty well, of times. Another... And, and look, at, look at the debacle that happened with Street Fighter V. Same thing with Tony Hawk V. Street Fighter V was horrible in the beginning. Yes, they did patches and they fixed it, but already the hardcore gamers left that scene and went away. I think they're scared to touch that because they saw all the people like boycott it and leave. And then by the time they fixed it, they were like, oh, we already made everybody mad. Capcom has already made people mad. I don't think they would want to touch, you know, any other games that are like, which we thought they weren't going to ever touch RE4 and fix it and make it different. But I don't think they would ever get that much of a classic to mess with it because we already had Street Fighter the movie and we don't want another crazy yeah. situation. And with that, if they show enough love and the demand is high enough, I think they could do it if they spend enough time to actually do it. Well, another thought that I'm creeping in, you know how they've already got Street Fighter versus the X or something like that? Well, they have Street oh, Fighter Marvel versus Marvel, 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 yeah, and all that. Yeah. Why don't they do something like Street Fighter versus... Well, they do have technically, in some universe, they have like... I forgot which RE character they have for a fighting game. I forgot what it was, but there I know one of the RE characters is in a fighting game. I just don't remember where. <laughs> it's like I, I think like an anime fighting game maybe. I would I wouldn't mind a remaster of Marvel versus Capcom. That oh, yeah. I think that'd be awesome. Give me, give me that one any day. Give me some Spider-Man. Yes, any day with with Deadpool. Yes. <laughs> Deadpool every day. <laughs> Marvel versus Capcom 3. Yes. This is my taunt. I love that game. <laughs> oh, man. So many questions, so little time. But let's like finish said, off just... the podcast with... <laughs> we now just know... Kept thinking that... come, on, come on, Charles. You'll be fine. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry. We're, 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 we're going to tweet it out. Big Evil's going to get all those questions to Capcom. I already can see the tweet. For... It's going to be a... Red. Oh, I'm starting right just now. Just remember, right now. just remember, tweet it, tweet him at Big Evil Gaming. <laughs> but yeah, last... go ahead, check me out at Big Evil Gaming and and retweet that, please. But last thing, man, before we we get too much into it, is Jackass the movie just hit that they're gonna have the fourth installment. Do you think they're going to make a video game for Jackass 4? I already know Spirit's really hardcore Jackass fan. I enjoy the Jackass series. Yes, I am. I like yes, I am. the PS2 game, but some of the other games were eh. Charles, do you think they're going to make a Jackass 4 game? And why would you think they make it? <laughs> would, would it be on Xbox or would it be a mobile? or What do you think it would be? I could... I can see they could, they they have three ways they could do it. do a okay. mobile, like okay. you said. They could do a PS4, maybe PS5 version. Yeah. PS5s are Or they can also do Xbox also. Yeah. Should they make a game? No. Oh, Will they? Wow. Maybe. Wow! From the hardcore jackass fan. Wow. Definitely, wow. Reason why I say they shouldn't is they should respect the memory of Ryan Dunn. Oh, uh, okay, I get where you're coming and from. And all now. that. But knowing uh, Johnny Knoxville and, and B Man and all that, we all know they. That's why the. That, so you're saying. So, Okay. Tweet sent out, by the way. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Uh, personally, yes, I am a jackass. I love those comedies and all that. But like I said, out of respect for Chris Dunn not being there. Ryan Dunn. Or, yeah, you're, you're, you know, you're mixing them up. It's all good. It's all good. Keep going. It's all Logan's fault. He distracted. It's okay. 
But yeah, without Dunn being there, it just feel like... And what I'm hearing out of the Jack Man, uh, the one that always did the most craziest stunts, who was Evo? it? Was it? Yeah, Steve-O is basically recovered from alcoholism and drug it. Yeah. Uh, Which is awesome. Yes, by the way, Steve-O, if you ever was, congrats. Proud of but that also be the problem of Bam Margera. He's back on the wagon. Yeah. And Bam, we love you. Please. Yeah, Bam. We, we want you to get better. Please, Bam. We all know how close you, Ryan, were. We love you. Everything. Yeah. And, you know, personally, I love their films, but game aspect for it I can't person I think flop yeah instant, all that horrible mm. wow Logan how do you feel about it would you think they would make a game honestly I think they could do it but I'm going to have to go with the same answer, being that, you know, Ryan's kind of out of it. And and they're doing this one in memory of Ryan. I don't think they're going to do a game of it. Okay. If they want to, I, I think they could go the route of like a Ghostbuster style game where you're the new guy on the block. Uh, you're wanting to go ahead and join, you know, Jackass crew. And you have to go through various, you know, stunts and various uh, scenes to go ahead and do it. And, you know, as you progress, they get more and more crazy and you can make like more and more money off of it, or earn like rep uh, 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 reputation, you know, as as like a jackass guy. I think I think it would be pretty cool to see it. But as it's standing currently right now, I don't think it's gonna happen because of you know everything that that did go on with Ryan and him not being a part of it anymore. Because I think if if Ryan was still around, if if Ryan Dunn was still there, I think they could do it. But being that, you know, with the tragedy that happened with Ryan Dunn, and may, may he rest in peace, man, because that guy was absolutely hysterical. It was hilarious. Yeah, he was hilarious. But uh, I, I think with with him not being around anymore, I don't think they're going to be making a game off of Jackass 4. I would love to see another one, but I, I just don't believe it'll happen. Yeah, man. I, I personally think that they're probably not going to do a game. For the simple fact that two members are out, most of them are older, and they're more about, you know, like, keeping their image good. Even uh, even though it's weird, you know, Steve-O was all about being the stupid one, and, you know, like, him, like, didn't care about what happened, you know. <laughs> He's actually, like, trying to protect his, you know, like, what happens to his, like, YouTube channel and and keep himself safe as much as possible. Yeah. And I don't think he would just, like, give his image to any, like, game anymore and just be like, yeah, do whatever you want to do. Like, I think he would be so invested into the game and, and everybody else would be so invested in the game that they probably just would not agree on anything anymore. Because before they were just like, yeah, whatever money I could get, I don't care. You know, because he was on drugs yeah. all the time. So he was like, yeah, oh, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes to this. I don't care what it is. Just give me that. How much yeah, money? dude, like, you should totally do that stuff for me. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's what he would do. So um, I don't think they're going to do that. Would you say I'm a huge fan. Would you, would you guys say in a way the Jackass crew basically has finally it's finally what? They've actually grown up. Turd. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah. Like they they used to be on their own by all themselves. All about the party life, going yeah, crazy, going all crazy. That. Now, now, now they're they being got fathers. Kids. Yeah. All that. And they got wives and they got people they care about. I think what that was another main reason why they were just not caring was just because they didn't have anybody who cared about them. You know what I mean? It was like well, they were I mean, all on look, their own. Look at Johnny Knoxville. Yeah. yeah like, look, how, look how much stuff he's done on, on Jackass. And even on the even on the TV show, like how many broken bones and injuries he's had. E yeah. Even not on Jackass. Even yeah. with the movies, like Action Point, he had more injuries on that than he did Jackass combined. 
Yeah. Well, think of, think about it this way, Logan. When they did the first Jackass film, second one, that inf- uh, go kart flip up the panda bear. Yeah, that, that caused a concussion. Me. That that caused a concussion. Bam, Johnny, and all of them. Yeah. Them concussions can add up. You know? Yeah, they could have been so much worse too. Yeah, oh, they, they yeah, flipped so weird them. they could have broke their neck. They could have killed them. Yeah, man, that that's what I'm saying though. I think that's why even anybody that's doing anything anymore, it's like you can tell that they're like not into it as much. Like, yeah, they're doing it, but it's like, mm, do I really want to jump off the roof? Nah, I'm good. Nah, not let's, really. Let's let somebody else I got a it. wife and. Oh. I yeah. got a wife and kids at home. I need yeah. to be home in time for supper. <laughs> yeah, and then a lot of them have companies that they have to run, and a lot of them have stuff that they oh, need yeah. to be always invested in. Like, Wee Man has a skating board company now that I doubt he would have ever, like, done anything before. And now he's got, like, you know, like a team he has that is relying on him. So I, I don't think he would ever stop doing that. Like, I think he was like, I got a team. I don't want to do that anymore. So but a lot of them are like, ah, I'm cool with that. I'll be okay. I, yeah. I, don't, I, I, and I think they're like, I'm already done so many stupid stuff that the hardcore fans are going to be cool with. I'm just like, they're doing something weird. Like, I, I, I get you. Okay. So well, I, well, I doubt they're going to do that, like, hardcore, like, craziness anymore. Like, they might, this might be the last film. I doubt that they're going to get together for, like, a fifth one, probably. And if it is, it's probably well, going to be, like, a I was, point five. I was think yeah. about it. Johnny, Johnny has become a bigger movie star breaking away from him. Yeah. He did the remake of uh, The Dukes of Hazzard. Mm-hmm. He did Walking Tall with the Rock and all that. And he also did the horses. Yeah, he's done so many and movies else? now. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but Johnny is more along the lines of I'm tired of getting myself hurt all the time. I just want to do something where I'm not hurt. He's an <laughs> actor, not a stuntman anymore, basically. Yeah. Pretty well much, he, yeah. he doesn't know how to fall though. Like he didn't he didn't start into like how Steve O was where he was like, I'm ready to fall. I know how to fall. Like he didn't do any like practicing. You can yeah. tell he just went well, in and goes, Steve-O, Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Okay. Okay. And then he just went poof and he fell and everybody laughed and then they're like, Ooh Okay. Oh crap! <laughs> <laughs> He's not getting up. That's not good. <laughs> like uh, medic. <laughs> yeah, man. It's it's getting sketchy now with their age and with most of them being sober or not wanting to do the crazy scene anymore. So I don't think right. they're gonna keep going with this. This might be the last hurrah. Like we gotta enjoy it while it's there and, and oh, yeah. just like it, like well, be happy. But I don't think they're gonna make another video game as far as like like a xbox ps4 maybe a pc maybe like a like an in like a pc steam game or something that like an indie game yeah like an indie game maybe i might i might see that come into the play eventually like somebody you know like yeah let's just do that let's just see what happens but i don't I'm a, know i'm gonna agree with on the fact do the fact that ryan dunn I can see beginning going contribute to Ryan. Beginning. Oh, you already know that's going to be in there. Yeah, man, it's gonna it's gonna be a tribute. But if they do do a game, like I don't know if they would actually like put him in there. I don't think they would do that. Well, if they did do a game, now Dunn's family better get some of. Oh hell yeah! Oh, they probably will. They probably will. They're they're gonna get that. They're gonna get all the money. Like it's gonna go to whoever. I don't know who. Like I, I, I'm not gonna get into legal stuff, but I know somebody would get something because they signed a contract, and most contracts state that if something were to happen, it usually goes to whoever the beneficiary is. You know what I mean? So they're they're covered, man. They're not gonna they're not gonna be able to use his name without somebody getting something. Right. Basically, like. Yeah, man. Like it's gonna be, it's gonna be like, even if they do, like, say the parents or the family don't want the money, they usually would do like a donation, like, hey, this is gonna go to the fund of da 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 da, in name of him, you know, and that's basically what they usually do because 
they can't just go and like do something and have his name there because the fans would be like yo what's up with that like i i yeah. hear that the parents don't want it what happened to all the money that you made because they're gonna call them out they're not gonna you know like let that slide especially with how bam is at it is right now they don't want anything to like make bam angry you know yeah well wow. I, I think too wow. with, the pro- with the proceeds that they're going to be making from jack s4 i think most of that money will be going to to like a, a done uh, a done fund or something like that yeah so with that we're gonna call it on the podcast and i think it was a good one man and charles I... thank you for behaving <laughs> No problem, no problem. For once, I want to wow. say personally thank you, Linda, for having me first. Oh, it's a pleasure. It was a pleasure, man. Absolutely. Thank you, Logan, for being on the podcast with me also. Oh, it you're very welcome. Time. It was an honor. So uh, if, if I if I may, can we get some uh, J-Love claps for Linda? Oh, thank you. So remember, everybody, keep on gaming. Stay safe out there. And let us know down in the comments below. What are your thoughts on everything that we talked about? Do you agree? Do you disagree? We're open for debate. Oh, whatever. No, 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 no. Check out the YouTube channel. (laughs) So, we are glitching out, everybody. Bye. Later. Linda, the gamer girl. She's here, she's playing games. Linda the Gamer Girl She's here, she's playing games too